Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to find time in simple interest. That means we have been given a certain amount of interest over a certain amount of principal and certain rate of interest. And we need to find after how much time we are going to get that much interest. So here are two problems we are going to solve. We will be using the simple interest formula for, you, for finding the time. So we all know that simple interest formula is simple interest is equal to principal times rate of interest times time over 100. From this formula, we got the time period as simple interest times 100 divided by principal times rate of interest. This is the formula to find the time period. In the first question, we have been given a principal amount of 6400. Simple interest is 1152 and rate of interest is 6% per annum. Per annum means per year. So let's substitute these values here. So T will become simple interest is 1152 times 100. Divided by principal is 6400 times rate of interest given is 6% per annum. So we have substituted all the values. Now, so here we see that these two zeros get cancelled with these two zeros. So this is 6 times 1. This will become 65. So 6, 6 times 9 and 6 times 2. So now we got this as 192 divided by 64 and we can simplify it further so this is reduced to 48 divided by 16 and we know that 16 times 3 is 48 so the answer is 3 years this is our final answer we are going to box it and let's try another example to find the time period in our second example we have been given principal amount as 9540 simple interest is 1908 and rate of interest is 8% per annum so let's write the formula for finding the time period which is simple interest times 100 divided by p times r principal times rate of interest so let's substitute the values. So, so this is simple interest which is 1908 times 100 divided by 9540 times rate of interest is 8%. Let's solve this. So this 0 gets cancelled with this 0. This 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 7 is 28 and 4 times 7 is 28. Again, we can cancel out this 2. So, 2 times 1 and 2 times 5. We got T is equal to 477 times 5 divided by 954. This comes out to be 2385 divided by 954 which is equal to 2.5 years this is our final answer and this is how by using the formula t is equal to simple interest times 100 over p times r you can find the time period in simple interest problems i hope this video is helpful to you thanks for watching